How's it going, everyone? Today we are going to talk about how to estimate uh, fractions. Um, so you can see here we start with six tenths plus seven twelfths, and we want to estimate these. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to find uh, common denominators because right now we have ten and twelve, and with different with, with different denominators, it's really difficult to um, evaluate uh, the value of of fractions. So. What we're going to do is we're going to look for the least common multiple. So the first thing I do is I write my first several multiples of 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. Then I'll come down and I'll write the first five multiples of 12. 12, 24, 36, 48, and 60. Now at this point I have no common multiples. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to my smaller one up here, 10, and I'm going to add on at least one more multiple to see where that leaves us. And so my next one is 60, which as you may notice, we already have on the 12 list as well. So 60 is our least common multiple, and therefore it's our new denominator. So we're going to write our new fractions with 60 as the denominators underneath there. And so now what we have to do is we say, okay, let's look at our numerator. What's our new numerator going to be? Well, over here we have a 6. And, uh, and that had the denominator of 10. So we say 10 goes into 60 six times. So we're going to multiply that 6 times 6, and we're going to get 36. So my new fraction over there is 36 sixtieths. And then over here, where I had 7 and 12 as the denominator, I said 12 went into 65 times. So I'm going to multiply 7 times 5, which is 35. Okay. So now I'm going to come down to my number line right here. Okay. Um, and on this end, I have 0. On this end, I have 1 whole. I'm going to mark off where 1 half is right in the middle. Okay, and then I'm going to change each of those to a number that represents the same value but has 60 as the denominator. So for zero, it would be zero sixtieths. For one whole, it would be 60 sixtieths. And for one half, it's going to be 30 sixtieths because 30 is half of 60. And so the final thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to say, well, where would 36 sixtieths go? Okay, it'd be right at after uh, 30 sixtieths, right about here. And then where would 35 sixtieths go? It would be right before that. Both of these are closer to one half than they are to one whole. So both of them I'm going to estimate to be worth one half. And so now I'm going to say to estimate six tenths plus seven twelfths, I'm going to estimate it to be one half plus one half equals one whole. And that is how we estimate adding fractions.